Jesus, Ginny, you could turn up a nun's habit. Ugh, screw you, Christian. This get-up was your idea, not mine. Did you just hurl? I, I feel like shit. Well, it happens to me in high-stress situations. Then find a way to relax. Well, you want to get me off in one of the stalls? Well, it may not be healthy, but a fill-up would at least mellow me out. Then go find a bowling pin. You have to be on your best behavior if you want us to have a chance in there today. Hey, what are you doing with my son? So you're the one. I'm James's wife. Hi. What are you doing? I am his mother. He'll forget that soon enough. Ugh. Hello, Christian. Gina. Why don't you guys come in? <clears throat> At first, the experiment appears to work. The suit is protecting her skin, but Valerie's overlooked something. Even if this one can't chew her to death, that doesn't mean he'll stop trying. Valerie's a rag doll in the jaws of a killer, and the metal suit is weighing her down. to the car in the condo. I'm, um, <clears throat> I'm moving back up to Gainesville to live with my mom, at least till the baby shows up. I just gotta pull out, but at least there are two bathrooms. <laughs> we were good parents, Christian. I mean, I, I know that we screwed up with Wilbur, but it could be different this time. You could adopt this one. It would really be yours. A real son of your own. I'm not that desperate, Gina. Go home to your mother. There's nothing left for you here. Skin grafts are coming along nicely. I think you've got yourself a nose, Mr. Gideon. <sighs> Why are they coming by? I was hoping to meet them. They're not. Uh, Sharon gave me a choice. Them or the mountain. And you chose the mountain. Everest is every climber's dream. I know I can take it this time. Like she had no right to give me an ultimatum. She knows I can't live like some ship in a bottle. What's that climber saying? Any fool can climb a mountain, it's the getting back down that's important. What's gonna happen to you after you get down when no one's waiting for you at the bottom? Take my word, Mr. Gideon. There's nothing scarier than being a good husband and father. <laughs>